Hey folks, well summer's here, so I haven't been doing too much work on the RC stuff, especially the Jeep, uh, hence the lack of videos, but I figured I'd make some time, uh, try to get something done on this thing, and uh, get another video up for you. I'll show you what I'm going to work on today. Well, there you can see the beast. Body's uh, loose, but figured I would try to get a rear bumper on this thing. Maybe uh, I might finish it tonight, but it takes a little bit of time. I, I know this, this front bumper, which I'm going to uh, kind of rehash a little bit. I'm going to cut this bracket off because I don't like how it turned out and redo it. But I'm going to do the rear bumper kind of the same style, but obviously it's going to be a lot wider here. So it's going to extend pretty much all the way out to the edge of the body and then... Uh, have a dip comes down which I'll have to uh, size properly because I'm going to build a swing out spare tire holder for it and possibly a place to mount a high lift jack and a scale uh, fuel tank and that sort of thing so I'm going to work on that and then after that I'm going to make my uh, flat fenders and some rock sliders I'm not sure I'm going to do the rock sliders because I'd like to mount them so they're solid so it doesn't bust up the body, but the uh, frame is quite a ways off from the body, so I don't know, maybe I'll have to build some braces that come up and over to the body to to hold things into place. So, uh, I got a metal cutting blade for my bandsaw over there, my cheap Ryobi. Um, we'll see how it works. Should work all right, hoping anyway. You can see I've got a mark already. I've kind of figured out how I'm I'm going to build this thing. So I'm gonna start cutting and uh, grinding and welding and see how it turns out. All right, so I got a, a couple of the pieces cut out. That bandsaw blade works not too bad, but I got a feeling it's not gonna last very long. Sorry about the reflection. This is gonna be the back side, the thinner side, and the I guess the very back of the bumper and this will be the forward part of the bumper so I've changed my plan a little bit from this one this one has these pieces here on the end I think what I'm going to do with this one make it a little simpler and a little bit less lower profile because it doesn't need to be quite as meaty I'm just going to hold it weld this straight on like this like so so I'll only have those small edges, which I think, I don't know, might turn out looking pretty good. Nice thing is i got lots of this metal. If it doesn't turn out, I'll just scrap it and start over. So my next step, you can see that mark, so I'll cut that off. And then I'll weld them, weld them on like that. And then once that's done, I can put a top plate, bottom plate will be angled angled up kinda like kinda like that does in here and then the final will be the cap on the end and uh, then it's just a matter of figuring out how to uh, mount it up so I'm gonna go cut this and weld this on and uh, do this top plate so I got the front and the back oh, sorry about the focus, got the front and the back uh, welded together it's tack welded Weld and I fully welded it. And I was thinking I was gonna put a jog or whatever you want to call it, a dip in the center of the bumper. It'd be like drop down here for tire clearance, like a spare tire clearance, like a lot of the aftermarket bumpers have. So the lighting in here is not the greatest. There we go. But then I thought, you know, I held it up against here. This bumper is gonna sit right about there. And even if I did put a jog in it, a dip in it, having this tire, it's not going to make much of a difference. It's only going to gain me just a little bit up or down. So I figure, being that it's a custom setup, I can just mount my spare tire carrier so that the uh, tire sits high enough. Either sits high enough or even, let's see here, sits back. So it's something like that. The only problem with that is the tire isn't 
protected by the bumper so I think having it sit on top will do the job being that I have this bumper up so high I don't know if it's going to uh, give me tons of clearance the only problem is this tire is going to sit let me see if I can see the bottom edge that tire is going to sit up that high higher than the roof almost higher than the roof of the truck or the Jeep unless I make a tire swing out carrier that kind of mounts mounts the tire at an angle like that which might look kind of cool though it puts a lot of weight off the back hanging off the back of the Jeep but uh, that way to keep it down lower eh, never seen anything like that done before don't know if don't know if they exist maybe you guys can tell me but that way uh, keep it down low and clear the bumper and overall it might look kinda kinda cool so in any case I'm going to uh, I have to redo the bumper so be it no big deal but I'm going to cut a piece here that go on there which needs to be let's see now looks like it's going to be somewhere around 15 15 millimeters. Yes, I'm in Canada, so I'm measuring in metric. 15 millimeters by uh, should be just under 18, 17 and a half. I'm just going to cut the rect rect rectangular, tack weld it front and back, and then I can zip these two edges off and uh, finish weld it. And then the next piece will be the bottom, and I'll make it rectangular too, so it'll be the width of this bend camera's not focusing right, but width of this bend, it'll come all the way back. Tack weld that on, and then I can zip these corners off and weld another piece on and grind her all down, and Bob's your uncle, I got a bumper. So let's get those pieces cut and see how it goes. Well, folks, there you have it. I got it all welded up. It's really pretty nasty looking. Uh, lots of work left to do on it, like I did on this one. You did a lot of grinding. Uh, sanding with my uh, vertical belt sander to get this one down that way and I messed up a little bit on here you can see this weld sticking way up by this one too I didn't have the heat set properly on my welder so I messed those up you can see this one sit down a lot more it's not, there, not as proud this one this one as well I did it in stitches that's why you see all those stops and starts and these ones I did it kind of straight weld. This one you can see it was uh, really melting. I actually burnt through in this corner, so that's why there's a big glob there. But in any case, it's all kind of rough welded together. I think it'll uh, think it'll work all right. So I got the width. Sorry, it's going to sit. It's kind of hard to tell, but she's going to sit right back there you can see a bit of a slope down it's hard to see with all the welds on it but slopes down this way so sit right there I got the width pretty good and uh, it's tough to rig up a uh, spare tire mount but that can come later at a later date so uh, I'm gonna call it uh, good tonight next video I'm going to work on probably the flat fenders. I don't know if I'll get all four done. It's going to take a little work to figure it out, but in that video I'll also show you the uh, kind of the ground down semi-finished product for the uh, rear bumper. I need to get a new belt for my vertical belt sander net because it's completely shot. So in any case, uh, hope you like this video and stay tuned for uh, more of the Jeep. Talk to you later.